radiology technologists really are at the forefront of like healthcare. Uh, radiology is basically the eyes for the physicians. We take pictures of the human body and those pictures that we take are used to diagnose patients and to help with their overall care. I met a lot of different technologists that had come through the program here and I also met technologists that had gone to various other programs and I think it really came across that whatever this program was, was doing and whatever this program was about, they produce very, very good techs. And it's from my understanding from people in the profession, um, Montgomery College is one of the best programs in the area. And they have more clinical hours here than they do at any other college around the area. So that means more time with the hospitals, learning on hand how to do things. In Germany, I went to university and I was like really, really big. And um, it's like you kind of get lost. And here it's like you have always like small classes. And um, it's like, I mean, your teacher basically knows your name. And if you have a problem, you can go to them. They're like really nice. I came and I talked to the professors, talked to some of the students that were going to school there and see what they can offer. And I saw the site that they go, they send people to. I was impressed. I wanted to go in medical field, but I wasn't sure which one. And then I, I got um, information about IT program, and then I decided to come here and do it. And it's also close by my house, so it was a good thing. And it's not expensive. <laughs> Even though I live in Virginia, I thought, um, I really want to be good at what I, I do. And um, because I know that this is like a, a, a human field, I, I want to be the best that I can be. And it just seemed like going to Montgomery College would aid me in, in being the best that I could be. Well, I, I love the field. Um, I love interacting with people. I love to talk to people. And I love helping people. Honestly, um, it probably sounds like a cliche, but just really helping a patient. When you have a patient is really excited and, and just thanks you. That's the most exciting thing. For me to be able to, on a daily basis, be there in somebody else's time of need has been so fulfilling for me. It's, it's always fluid. It's not the same old uh, thing. I mean, every time you come to the hospital, you know you're going to see something different. Probably the patients that we meet. The, the exams that we have to do, I've never seen anything like it. And the people are just so wonderful at the hospital. I really like it. It's like you always see like, different kind of people, also like from different countries, and you have to talk to them, and it's nice. <laughs> it, it appeals to me. I just, I don't, I don't know, uh, I couldn't stand to do the same thing over and over again. I have a, quite a, a bit of a short attention span, and seeing something new day to day is uh, actually, uh, it's appealing to me. They really made the whole um, facility here like, um, like a hospital. When I started at my clinical site this semester, I felt like I really had an edge because I walked in somewhat familiar with the equipment they were using. The equipment we have now is state of the art. I mean, we're at a uh, top-notch hospital right now and the equipment we have at school is uh, newer than most equipment here. When we go into the hospitals, this is the equipment that they use in the real world. On one floor you have an OR and then on the other one you have a nursing station, here's like x-ray. We have a separate lecture room, um, we have a practice lab and we also have an energized lab that's equipped um, to where we could do fluoroscopy studies which involves contrast and we actually get to um, view like dynamic images where like if a patient swallows we actually see that and we also have the computed radiography which no longer do we print um, x-rays on f actual film um, our images are digital and they go cr um, directly to a computer monitor Rose Alley, um, she's our pro program coordinator, and Kathy, she's our um, clinical coordinator. They both are really nice. They are there for uh, us whenever we need them. Rose and Kathy and, and the faculty at Montgomery College in general, they really want every student to succeed. If you have any problems, any questions at all, you can always go to Rose or Kathy. I really can't say enough about them. They are the most wonderful professors that I've ever had. They just really, really care. They spend many hours here. If you have a question, their door is open. You can go to them with questions. And they really, they will explain an idea until 
everybody gets it. They're always there to help you. Their doors are always open. They really want you to succeed and they back you 100% and they just command excellence from you just in how they treat you and because they believe in you. We go to clinical sites where we actually get hands-on training in a hospital. First year is one site and the second year they change that site. I'm at Suburban Hospital. It's a level one trauma center and I see patients there. I'm working at George Washington University Hospital and it's a trauma hospital so a lot of the times like yesterday we had a trauma come in and the x-ray techs actually have to go with the portable machine to take pictures like if they need to do C-spine to make sure the patient hasn't broken his neck. I really like to work at NIH. It's kind of a research facility, so it's a good thing. You'll see a lot of pathologies about radiology program, and uh, you will learn a lot over there. And um, in summer, you, Rose decides that every student has to go there for one week, so you can see different pathologies over there. It's been a good opportunity and a good lifetime experience for me, which I think I'm going to stay in this field for a very long time. The hospital environment is very busy and it's um, a very quick pace, but I like that. I like to stay busy and in this field you do, you stay very busy. It's very little time for like sitting or standing around, but it makes your day go by really fast. After graduating, I applied to University of Baltimore to get my bachelor's in health system information. After graduation, I actually um, plan to continue school. What I eventually would like to do is become a radiation therapist. Actually, I plan to go back to school after graduation, but uh, uh, find a, a job where I can work Saturday and Sunday. There's some facilities I think you can work two 16-hour shifts. Work two days a week, they'll pay you 40 hours and give you full benefits. I'm either going to work at a hospital like GW, that's where I am now, I really like it. Or I'm gonna do a travel program where I can go to any city I want and they pay for travel expenses, part of your rent, and I could go to Hawaii for six months if I want to. Or I might go to the sonography program here so I can cross train. I might go to medical school, who knows? Yeah, I think I might get my bachelor's degree. There's a few schools out there that actually give you a bachelor's degree in medical imaging, which is pretty much what radiology is. After doing this uh, radiology technology, you have a lot of opportunities to go to different fields. Um, there's other modalities you can train in after you're certified as an RT. CT, MRI, ultrasound, you can do nuclear medicine, radiation therapy. You have lots of modalities to go through. So you can further your career as an RT and, and the pay increases as well. That's the part I like. <laughs>